Hello and welcome to another Adverity Platform Guide. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at non-aggregatable metrics such as reach and how you can connect and visualize them within Adverity. But first, what are non-aggregatable metrics? A non-aggregatable metric is a quantitative value that can't be summed or averaged. This is because this value depends on a more granular level of data that is not given. A few examples of non-ag metrics include reach, unique impressions, followers, inventory, or calculated KPIs such as CPC and CTR. As a result, non-aggregatable metrics can only be displayed at their given granularity level. Otherwise, discrepancies will be generated. For example, the daily reach metric shows the number of unique users who come in contact with your ads each day. It does not make sense to add up daily reach in order to get your total weekly reach, because some people could come in contact with your ads on multiple days during the week. This means that if someone interacted with your ad on two days of the week, they should be counted as one unique interaction each in your daily reach, but only one unique user in total in your weekly reach metric. Adding up the daily values would lead to the same people being counted multiple times. Data discrepancies are the result. In this video, we'll show you the best practice for collecting and visualizing non-aggregatable metrics using two sample data streams. Let's say you want to visualize the daily reach of your campaigns and the monthly reach of your accounts. When collecting non-aggregatable metrics, make sure to fetch data using the same level of granularity that you want to visualize your data in. For example, if you are looking to visualize daily reach by campaign, make sure to set up your data stream configuration to include campaign names, dates, and reach. Then schedule your data stream to fetch the data at the same time every day. Let's check out the data extract we get when we run a fetch using our example data stream. You can see that it includes only the data we need for the planned visualization. If you are looking to visualize different levels of reach granularity, remember to set up a separate data stream for each one. In this example, we're fetching data for daily reach by campaign with the first data stream and monthly reach by account with the second data stream. Looking at the configuration of our second data stream, you can see that the level of granularity is again compatible with what we're trying to visualize. We are fetching the account details, the date, and reach. As you can see in the data extract, the output shows monthly reach by account. Once the data extract contains the metrics and dimensions you're looking for, make sure to map your reach source field to a descriptive target field that allows you to distinguish the granularity in Data Explorer. By default, it will be mapped to reach, but in this case, it makes sense to map it to a monthly account to reach. To do this, click the mapping field in the data extract and create a new target field with this name. Don't forget, you need to reload the data into Adverity Data Storage to apply the data mapping changes you've made. Let's now go back to the first data stream and map the reach field accordingly as well. In this case, it makes sense to name it daily campaign reach. Let's adjust the data mapping in the data extract. If you want to learn more about data mapping, watch the platform guide linked in the video description. Again, you need to reload your data because you made changes so that the data is labeled correctly in your destination. You could also do this by pressing the refetch icon in the data stream overview. In this example, we're loading data into Adverity Data Storage and visualizing it in Data Explorer. Let's navigate there by clicking Data Explorer in the sidebar navigation menu. If you haven't worked with Data Explorer yet, don't forget to check out our video guide. To the left, you can see the reach metrics we have fetched from our data sources in the From Data Mapping section. Monthly account reach and daily campaign reach are displayed as two separate reach metrics 
because we named them accordingly. Now let's say we want to visualize last week's reach data by a specific campaign. We'll start by setting the date range for our visualization. We want to look at the data from the past seven days, so let's select that. Next, we need to decide which dimensions we want. We want to look at daily reach by campaign. We can select daily from the date and time drop down here. And next, we need to add our dimensions and metrics. So let's add campaign name and daily campaign reach for this example. As you can see, this gives us the various campaign names and their respective reach values. To filter for a specific campaign, click the campaign name dimension and then the filter icon. This allows you to select the campaign you'd like to see the data for. Let's select wedding cake for this example and hit apply. We can now create a visualization based on this table. First, we create a visualization data set, which just means selecting the specific data in the table we want to add to a visualization. In this case, let's add our reach data by clicking on any value in the reach column. If you hover over the options in the pop-up menu, the data highlighted in green is what will be added to a new visualization data set. In this case, we want daily by campaign, so that is what we will click. And now we have our reach data over the past seven days represented in a nice bar chart. We could change this to another type of chart in the settings. If we want to visualize the monthly reach data by account as well, we would do so in a separate chart. We can add a second view at the top of the Data Explorer page. Now, we'll set the past three months as our date range. Next, we add monthly as the time dimension from the date and time dropdown. Then we select the account name and the monthly account reach. To create our data set, we click on the data we want to visualize and select monthly by account. And here you go, reach data over the past three months by account represented in a nice bar chart. We could now edit both visualizations by adjusting the settings or save them to a dashboard as they are by clicking Add to Dashboard in the top right. And that's what you need to know about collecting and visualizing non-aggregatable metrics. For more information on non-aggregatable metrics and documentation on Adverity's Data Explorer, be sure to check out the Adverity documentation.